blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty in the blood, in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood, in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ, there is power mighty in the blood, in the blood, there is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. In the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood of Jesus Christ. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power mighty in the blood. There is power, power, wonder working power in the blood of the land. There is power, power, wonder working power in the precious blood of the land. There is power, 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 wonder working power in the blood. Good morning to everyone online, and happy new Sunday. I welcome you all to this wonderful Sunday morning, as it's the first Sunday of the month. Please, as you join, kindly share, comment, and like, and turn on notifications so that you'll be notified every time that we go live or post a new video. And now, time to open up the service with a prayer. Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you. We bless your holy name. We thank you for letting us enter into your kingdom on this Sunday morning. We thank you for accepting all of us with open arms into your gracious kingdom. We thank you for eternally blessing us Amen. and giving us everlasting breakthrough. Amen. We thank your almighty name as you sent your only begotten son to die on the cross for our sins. Lord, please forgive us for any sin that we have committed, either big, small, known, and unknownly. Please forgive us because we do not know what we do. Lord, continue to protect me, my family, and everybody online with the blood of Jesus in the wall of fire. Amen. Lord, we thank you. We give you glory on adoration. As we are in your presence today, on this, on this holy morning, we want to thank you. And thank only you. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. 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 Now time for the announcements. Join us on our life-changing programs where destinies are being restored. Be part of our powerful Bible study, teaching and fire prayer, every Tuesday, 10 a.m. U.S., 3 p.m. Nigeria, and 2 p.m. Europe. You are also invited to our online Sunday service, which is right now at 11 a.m. U.S., 4 p.m. Nigeria, and 3 p.m. Europe. We hope to hear from you. We will be with you next week, the same time online. It is from us at the Vine Children of Christ Christian Church, Maryland, USA. God bless you all mightily. Thank you. You can reach us on our website at divine christ of nation ministrywebnotecom and our WhatsApp. Praise the Lord! Praise Master Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, somebody. Hallelujah. 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 Hall
first Sunday of the month. Amen. Not Amen. everybody that saw January, February, March, and uh, all the months till today that see today's uh, uh, Sunday service. And we're very grateful to God. To God be all the glory. Amen. 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 We worship you, open the glory. We bless your holy name. Amen. We thank you for only you can make today so precious to us. Amen. Only you can show us the brightness of the day. Thank you, Lord, for we are, we, are, we are light in the land of the living. Amen. Thank you, God, for allowing us to see the, the, the second to the last uh, money, um, the second to the last uh, Holy Communion of the, of the year. Amen. After this Holy Communion, there will be no more Holy Communion of 2021 uh, after December 1st Sunday. So we'll give God the glory for the first Sunday in Amen. Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. And now the offering. The Lord said we should not come to his uh, house empty-handed. Everybody, wherever you are, take your offering up. As you take your offering up, so everything in your life will be up in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Come on. I sing my song. Uh, go ahead. It shall be given unto you. The man that's singing together and running over, running over. Give, give, give. It shall be given unto you. The measure shaking together and running over. I said, give, 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 give. It shall be given unto you. The measure shaking together and running over. I said, running over. Give, give, give. It shall be given unto you. The measure shaking together and running over. And now our offering, our. Now our this uh Hallelujah Hallelujah Amen He reaches to the highest mountain
subdue nations before him and to strike kings of her of their ammon and gates will not be shot too i will go before you and will level the mountains amen now the place is saying god will go before you you all over the world before myself before my family and level all the mountains amen. god will break all the gates and brows and cut through the bars of iron amen god will give us the hidden treasure of the riches and store in the secret places Amen. so Amen. that we may know that our Lord, our God is the God of Israel. Amen? Amen. Our God who summons us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And the title of my preaching today, my brothers and sisters, is God is the power over all powers. Amen. Amen. God is the power over all powers. Amen. This is the only place in the Bible where Gentiles, rulers, said to, to be anointed. God is the power over all powers, and he anoints whom he chooses for his special tax. Amen. Like the Bible said, God said, God say, I will bless here I want to bless, and I will cause who I want to cause. Amen. So shall it be, that's God for you. Cyrus' kingdom spread across 2,000 miles, the largest of the empire, empire then no, including the, the, ter the, ter the territories of both the Assyria and the Babylonian empires. Mm -hmm. Why did God anoint Cyrus? Because God God had special tasks for him Amen. to do for Israel. Cyrus will allow God's city.
city Jerusalem to be rebuilded, and he will set the Ezai free without expecting anything in return. Amen. A few kings of Israel of Judah had done as much for God people as Sarah's word. God is the rulers over right and darkness, my brothers and sisters. Amen. Over Amen. prosperity and disaster. Amen. Our lives are sprinkled. Our 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 lives are sprinkled with with both types of experience. Amen. And both are needed for us to grow spiritually. Amen. When good times come. Thank God, my brothers and sisters. Amen. And Amen. use your prosperity for Him. Amen. When bad time comes too. Don't resent uh, them, but ask what you can learn from this refining experience to make you a better servant of God. Amen. Paul and his uh, companions probably arrived in Italia in, in the early summer uh, summer of AD. They planted the first Christian church in the city, but had to leave in a hurry because their lives were in. In, in, into their life world were threatened. At this first opportunity, probably when the stop when he stopped at the current Corinthian, Paul sent Timothy back to, to the celestial uh, to see how the new believers were doing. Mm -hmm. In this per per pericope, God is trying to let us understand that we were remaining, we have to remain firm. Come on, come on. We have to remain firm. Amen. We are on faith, on field, but, but as we did have some questions about new faith. Amen. About new faith. That that new faith that we were looking for, that new faith to help us, that Paul said, had not had time to ask some of the questions we have to ask God. Amen. So we have to ask God because of faith to ask God some questions. And even when we get the answer or not, we still have problems because we don't have the faith. Hallelujah. So, in this pericope, we're praying that God Almighty will help us to understand that having faith, like Paul said, to answer the question that when we ask God question, those questions will be will be things that we we'll believe in. Amen. In the meantime, other questions had arise. Amen. So Paul wrote the letter to answer their questions and to commend them on their faithfulness. Amen. Amen. One thing about this uh, part of uh, the Bible is that on Paul's second missionary journey, you see that Paul was talking to Telestrian people what to do. Come on, what to do. Amen. And the capture of the large city, about 200,000 population of the Roman providence and the medicinal, medicinal and the most important Roman highway. Amen. And the Romans... In this uh, pericope, this highway along with the city was driving of a seaward. Go ahead. Recognizing as a free city, these are the influence of one thing we're talking about here Amen. is that we should have faith in God. Amen. God is the powerful God over our power. Come on, come on. Hallelujah. God is the powerful God over our power. And Christians for their work produced by faith. Amen. And Christians and believers, whatever we do should be faith. Faith and bound. Faith, Hallelujah. Faith should be the reason why we Hallelujah. do stuff. Amen. We come today because of faith. We are doing first service because of faith. Amen. Faith produced labor promoted by love and Amen. endurance inspired by hope. Amen. Find that joy. Christians for the work produced by Amen. faith. Amen. Labor promoted by love. Amen. And uh, endurance inspired by hope. Hallelujah. This is uh, the marks of effective Christian in any age. Amen. Even in the present time in the past time in room before these are characteristics we should have the Amen. gospel came with power it had a powerful effect on the on, on us whenever the bible is heard and obey my brothers and sisters whenever the bible is heard i pledge you and i plead to you i beg you today to obey and leave and change Amen. because Amen. that is what we're looking for the word of god every sunday the word of god tuesday bible study Amen. the word of god should be a daily Amen. part of our life Amen. Amen. Living by the word of God it should be our lifestyle. Prayer should be our lifestyle. Fasting Amen. should be our lifestyle. So Amen. the gospel came with power. When we were preaching the word of God with power, it had a powerful effect on us. Amen. Whenever the Bible is heard, my brothers and sisters, and obey, lives, our lives are changed. Amen. Amen. Every time you see the Bible preach and people obey, Lives are changed. Amen. Change is a constant. Christianity Amen. is more than collaboration of interest. Amen. I tell you, Christianity is more.
more than a collection of interest fat. It is the power of God to everyone who believes this. Amen? Amen. Amen. What has God's power done in your life since you first believed, my brothers and sisters? Hallelujah. Since you've been in the church, what have God's power done in your life? The Holy Spirit changes people. And that's what I know. The Holy Spirit changes people when they believe the gospel. Amen? Amen. Whenever you believe the gospel, the Holy Spirit will change you. When we tell others about Christ, we must depend on the Holy Spirit to open their eyes Amen. and convince them that they need salvation. Amen? Hallelujah! I love somebody. Uh, God's power changes people. Amen. 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 Not our cleverness or our intelligence or persuasion, not at all. Amen. Not Amen. our cleverness, or what did I say, our persuasion, but without the work of the Holy Spirit, Amen. our words, like I'm preaching now, without the work of the Holy Spirit, it is useless. Amen. The Holy Spirit is not only convinced people of sin, but also assures them of the truth of the gospel. Amen. Amen. Our brother wrote, I say, you know how we live among you for your sake. The 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 the, uh, the person could see that what Paul and Silas and Timothy were preaching was true because these men live it. Amen. Yeah. As we preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, as we teach the Bible, as we talk about Christ every day, what we need to do is just not to talk like they say. Talk is cheap. Amen. We got to talk. We got to do. That's why I smell love that part. I said, let's be the hearer and the doer of the word. Amen. Let's be the hearer and the doer of the word of Amen. God. Amen. And let's talk the talk and walk the walk in the name of Jesus. Somebody Amen. shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. So as we are preaching the word of God, we are preaching the truth. As I'm preaching the word of God today, I'm preaching the truth because... I have to live it and practice it and live by it. Amen. Amen. Does uh, your life confirm or contradict what you say or believe? Amen. The Pharisees religious group opposed the, the Roman occupation of a uh, Philistine, the Herodian and the Politician. All these are political people. They don't have faith in God. They don't even believe. They're asking Jesus, who is the head of all, and say, when is Jesus is coming? Is it not amazing how God, Satan, will blind our eyes, and when the right person to help us is there, we're still looking for the other. Amen. God punished the devil in the pit of fire. Amen. And God will open our eyes to see the right person when God sent them to us, Amen. instead of uh, uh, doubting them when they're standing in our presence. Amen. And these two, normally these two groups were bitter enemies. But when they are bitter enemies, you know how enemies will be enemies, but when they want to bring one person down, they come together. Mm. They collaborate together to bring somebody down. Mm. That's exactly what these people were doing. Amen. There were normally two groups who were bitter enemies, but here they united against Jesus. Amen. They want to bring Jesus down, so they united. Thinking they had a, a foolproof plan to corner him. Together, Amen. their representatives asked Jesus about praying. Roman tax, paying Roman tax. If Jesus agreed that it was right to pay taxes to Caesar, the Pharisees would say he opposed God. Mm. The only king they recognize. If Jesus had said the taxes should be paid to the uh, Herodians, would, uh, would uh, hand him, they would hand him over to the Herod on the charge of rebellion. Mm -hmm. In this case, my brothers and sisters, the Pharisees were not motivated by love. Mm -hmm. They're not motivated by helping the, the poor, no. But they are motivated by, by, they're not motivated by love for God's law. And the Herodians were not motivated by the love of Roman justice. Jesus answer exposed their evil motives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Jesus answer exposed their evil motives and embarrassed them both right there. Amen. That is why it's good to put Jesus first in your life because without Jesus the enemy will come and drink you like soup. The enemy will come and flip your hand like a storm. But when you have Jesus you are just like a Iroko tree. Amen. Iroko tree last time I checked. Iroko tree. I see Iroko tree come over here. I put him stand on this Poopy right now. Iroko Tree, how are you doing today? He said, Joy, you have no idea. I've gone through a lot of storm. I've gone through a lot of wind. Amen. I've gone through Amen. a lot of rain. Amen. I've gone through people who want to cut me down. Amen. I stand on Gidiba. So all of us, we have to stand on Gidiba. 
because what is our rock of tree? Our rock of tree is Jesus Christ. Amen. When you stand in the rock of ages, you cannot hide it from God. Amen. When you stand in the rock of ages, there's a Amen. song I like. I'm standing on the rock. Amen. I'm standing on the rock. I'm standing on the rock. Jesus is my rock. Hallelujah. I'm standing on the rock. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I'm standing on the rock. Standing. I'm standing on the rock. Jesus is my rock. Jesus is our rock. We have to stand on the rock of Jesus because he's the only one that motivates us Amen. by the love Amen. of God. Amen. The Jews required to pay taxes to support the Roman government. Amen. They hated this taxation because the money went directly into the Caesar treasury, where some of it went to support the pagan temples and the sad lifestyles of the Roman. The, the Caesar imagined on the coins was constant reminder of the Israel's subjection to Roman. Deuteronomy said, uh, the directors the, was the usual ways of wages of labor then. Jesus avoided this trap Amen. by Amen. showing that we have dual citizenship. Amen. Amen. We have dual citizenship, y'all. In 1 Peter 2.17, our citizenship in the nation requires that we pay money for the service and the benefit we receive. Amen. Amen. Our citizenship in the kingdom of God is not like that. Amen. Our citizenship in the kingdom of God, in the kingdom of heaven, requires that we Pledge our primary obedience and commitment to God. Amen. My brothers and sisters, like my child will say, God is the power over all powers. Amen. Amen. God is the power over all powers. I don't Amen. care how you look at it. God is the power over all powers. Amen. And you're saying, Reverend Joy, how do I receive this God, this Jesus as my Lord and Savior? Amen. My brothers and sisters, come on, come on. Today is the right day. Today is the first Sunday of the month of November. Come on, come on, come on, come on. If you receive Jesus as Lord and Savior, pray this prayer with me. Amen. Say, my God Almighty, I confess my sin. Because you have to confess your sin with your mouth. I confess all the sin of sin. Direct, indirect, small, big, the ones I know unknown. Please, God. Thank you for dying on the cross of Calvary for my sins. Amen. Please forgive me, Papa. Amen. Come into my life. I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Now, God, help me to live for you the rest of my life. Amen. Create in me a pure heart and renew a steadfast spirit with me. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. My brothers and sisters, if I pray this prayer, you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome, you are welcome. you've seen her before oh i thought you drink before i thought you do that don't, don't bother don't bother the people close to you will tell you everything that you have to do but i tell you my brothers and sister once you receive jesus as a lord and savior it's all about you and jesus and your heart mm -hmm. give your heart to god pure heart and clean hand and you say okay i've done that and you don't have a bible foundation church amen. a church that preach the authentic word of god like we do in the vices of christ amen. please find one where you will go and uh, and uh, you know you know come together with believers and and go ahead and listen to preachings from the word of god that will change your life as you are growing amen. small small amen. in christ and if you don't have don't go too far we have a church we brought online to you to your kitchen, to your comfort zone, to your room. Come on, John the Vanciers of Christ. Amen. We need you. John the Vanciers of Christ. The Vanciers of Christ Amen. need you. And all we need is for you to come online. We'll go with you. Everything you're going through, we're here. We are brothers and sisters. Come now. Come now, my brothers and sisters. Join the Vanciers of Christ. And if you join, you are welcome in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. And message us in our Facebook Messenger, on our website. Everything is there, preaching, all the word you can hear is there. And if you say, no, Joy, I'm going through, I need a special prayer. I pray with you, my brother. Hold your hand in the spiritual realm. Father, in the name of Jesus, I don't know what they're going through, but you know the heart, you read the heart. Please, God, make everything hard for them easy in Amen. the name of Jesus. Amen. As this first Sunday, we're about to take your holy communion. Please help us that as the blood is running into us, it's deleting, it's uh, removing, it's return, return, transformation and reviving us in the name of Jesus. Amen. It's healing us from our hopeless life. It's giving us hope for our faithless place. You're giving up in the mighty name of Jesus Christ we pray. Amen. Amen. Amen, Amen my brothers and sisters. And Amen. after this, 
the next one because today is holy communion so let's go ahead for our holy communion right now and uh, we are going to start our holy communion of our father almighty we do not come to partake of the most blessed body and blood of, of your son jesus christ trusting and believing in our righteousness but in your great mercy of merciful father lord great and gracious father god grant us to eat the flesh of your own son dear son jesus christ and drink his blood that our sinful souls and body may be made clean by his dead and washed through his blood and that he we will live in him and he in us in jesus christ mighty and much less name Amen. on the same day jesus christ was betrayed he took bread and he gave thanks father in the name of jesus we thank you for the bread of life your body your body that we're about to be broken and eaten today so that after us god our life will not remain the same Amen. he gave thanks to that and he gave it all to his old disciples he said eat it all this is my body then he took cup and father in the name of jesus and he gave thanks father in the name of thank you for your blood your blood that is greater than blood of abel your precious blood of jesus christ god that you used to heal us protect us like the song say he reaches to the mountain and go to the valley the blood of jesus christ will never never lose his strength and lose his power for and he takes that and he said did drink from it all this is my blood of the covenant which is poured out of my of for many for the forgiveness of sin Amen. the broken body of jesus christ my brothers and sisters and i will take my not because i'm too good but i'm because god have chosen me to do this work in jesus name Amen. Amen. the broken blood of jesus christ the blood of jesus christ Amen. Amen. The share from the Calvary, the broken body of Jesus Christ, Amen. the broken body of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. the broken body of Jesus Christ, Amen. broken body of Jesus Christ, Amen. Amen. it is all my brothers and sisters, the blood of Jesus Christ that share from the Calvary, Amen. for my sin and for your sin, the precious blood of Jesus Christ that share from the Calvary, Amen. Amen. For my sin and for your sin. Amen. Drink it all, my brothers and sisters. And have you renewed your covenant? Arise, my brothers and sisters. Arise in hope. Amen. Amen. Arise Amen. in love. Amen. Arise in faith in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. My brothers and sisters, this end our first Sunday of the month, November service. Amen. Hallelujah, somebody. Hallelujah. And this is the, the last. So the, uh, this after this uh, first Sunday, the next uh, first Sunday will be December. Amen. Amen. And December first Sunday will be the last only communion of the year. Amen. So my brothers and sisters, if you are alive to see this day, to God be all the glory. Amen. Amen. For God has been so faithful for us. Amen. We pass all the members. It's almost gone. September, October. Now we are in November. Amen. So this end our service for the first Sunday in the Vestures of Christ Nation Church. If you're just joining us, this Amen. is a church online. We bring church to your comfort zone Amen. and Bible study on Tuesday Amen. at 10 o'clock. US, 3 p.m. Nigeria and 2 p.m. Europe. We dig deep into the word of God because the word of God is a lamp unto our feet and a light into our path. Amen. As people put their face in the, in, the, in the Facebook, we put our face in the word of God. So that's what we do in Bible study, even in the service, Bible, uh, the service today. Our service comes at 11 o'clock a.m. US, Amen. 4 p.m. Nigeria and 2 p.m. Europe. All we do is preach the authentic word of God. And if you don't have a church home, you are free to join us. Amen. We are hands of the Father. We are God's hands with the Son. We are children of the King. We are family. We are family. I love you, but God loves you more. Bitch, your walk. Bitch, your walk. Amen. Amen. God bless you. Bye now.